all the world's a stage. And all the men and women merely players, they have their exits and their entrances. And one man in his time plays many parts as acts, being seven ages. First the infant, mewling and puking in the nurse's arms. And then the whining schoolboy with his satchel and shining morning face creeping like snail unwillingly to school. And then the lover, sighing like furnace with a woeful ballad made to his mistress' eyebrow. And then the soldier, full of strange oaths and bearded like the pard, jealous in honor, sudden and quick in quarrel, seeking the bubble reputation, even in the cannon's mouth. And then the justice, and fair round belly, with good cape and lined, with eyes severe, and beard of formal cut, full of wise saws and modern instances. And so he plays his part. The sixth age shifts into the lean and slippered pantaloon with spectacles on nose and pouch on side as youthful hose well saved a world too wide for his shrunk shank and his big manly voice turning again toward childish treble, pipes and whistles in his sound. Last scene of all that ends this strange, eventful history, his second childishness and mere oblivion, sans teeth, sans eyes, sans taste, sans everything. <sighs> there you have it, guys. All the world's a stage. What a beautiful phrase. How true, how poetic. Life filled with these people that come and go, exiting and entering our, our world playing various parts, we ourselves playing various parts. I love how Shakespeare breaks it down into these seven different ages, and ultimately mankind, according to Shakespeare, kind of comes back in the end to being a child again. A lot to think about there. I realize the language is sort of difficult in that particular speech, so I'm going to include a link to a No Fear Shakespeare website that will help you if you're struggling with that. Also, you can email me anytime.